In this lesson, we'll be discussing the stoichiometry of electrolysis. Question 1 reads, gold can be plated out of a solution containing Au3 plus ions according to the half reaction shown underneath. What mass of gold in grams is plated by the flow of 5.5 amperes of current for 25 minutes? Just to give you an idea of what's happening here, electricity is flowing through this solution containing gold ions. They want to know how much gold will be produced if this process continues for 25 minutes when the current is 5.5 amperes. Everything that we need to do this problem is shown underneath. Notice that I've written down that one ampere is equal to one coulomb per second, and by definition, that's what current is, the amount of charge per unit time. Faraday's constant is also written, and that is shown underneath, where that relates coulombs and moles of electrons. And the molar mass of gold, which we'll need to find the mass of gold, is written right here. The purpose behind the half reaction is that it tells us the stoichiometric relationship between the moles of electrons and the moles of gold, Au. As you can see, there are three moles of electrons per every one mole of gold. As mentioned earlier, since current is a measure of charge per unit time, I'm going to take the amount of time, which is 25 minutes, convert it into seconds, and multiply it to the current given. So 25 minutes converted into seconds, we'll use the conversion ratio that one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. And using dimensional analysis, this will cancel out with that, leaving us with the amount of seconds. And I'll multiply this number by 5.5. And the reason why I can do that is because amperes is the same thing as coulombs per second. This will cancel out the seconds unit, leaving us with the amount of coulombs that is flowing within this 25 minute period. Let's go ahead and calculate that. 25 times 60 times 5.5, and keep in mind that this number should be to two significant figures, although I'll write everything down since we're not done calculating. 8.250 times 10 to the power of 3 coulombs. So that is the amount of coulombs that is flowing within this 25 minute period. The next thing is to use Faraday's constant to calculate the number of moles of electrons and the stoichiometry of the reaction to find the number of moles of gold. So I'll take this number and multiply it by one mole of electrons per 96485 coulombs. That cancels out the coulombs, leaving us with the amount of moles of electrons. Using our calculator again, we'll take the number that's on the screen divided by 96485, and we get 0 0.85505. Now, we are told that it's a 3 to 1 ratio. So pretend that we took this number and we placed it right here and we found out what x was. So really quickly, we're looking for what x is, or you can simply take this number and multiply it by 3 moles of E per 1 mole of AU. This will cancel out that unit and we'll go ahead and divide that number by 3. We get a number that's even smaller, and that's the amount of moles of gold. Using the molar mass of gold, as you can see on the screen now, by multiplying this number by this number, the mole unit will cancel out, leaving us with the amount of grams. So let's multiply this by 196.97, giving us the amount of gold that we need which is 5.6 grams of gold. There is a second question in this series, and if you'd like to see the solution, leave us a comment below, and we'll gladly publish the video that we've made for this. Hope to hear from you soon.